from Randy Moat with AXI Clean Fuel and Tank. We're showing you a piece of equipment today made by AXI International. Very impressive piece of equipment. It's the MTC HC150. We're doing up to 150 gallons per minute. Uh, we can turn over a 10,000 gallon tank uh, one turn in, in an hour basically. But we're using a smaller tank for demonstration today. We've already taken a sample out of this tank. You can see some of the water, sludge, rust, microbial growth in the bottom of that sample there. And we drew that out of the lowest point of the tank. And you'll notice the tank is on an angle. You always want to have the suction in the lowest point. So we, we come with, this, with the suction one. We come into the first skid here. And it goes into two pre-filters. Now in these pre-filters, we can start with a, up to a 500 mesh. Uh, typically go down to a 50, 25 micron, clear down to a 1 micron bag filter in these. Now when you go, to, when it's time to change these filters, you can actually isolate one side at a time and be able to change one set of filters while the other is still doing, we were just, just running it at 90 gallons a minute on just one side. So you still keep up lots of flow rate, saving time and efficiency in the job. And now that we're looking at the, the water separators and just like the bag filters, you can actually shut one side off while the other is still running and then drain water out of the bottom through these ports over here and then when you've got everything drained cleaned open it back up go back to 150 gallons a minute so after going through the pre-filter the water separator where we can isolate sides and change bag filters comes over here to the second skid through the pump through two magnetic fuel conditioners and around this side then we have the, the particulate filters, the cartridge filters. And same as the bag filters, we can isolate one side, change that one, while the other one's still doing 90 gallons a minute. So before we actually turn the system on, we want to make sure that all the valves are in the right direction, the discharge is back in the tank, and so on. So to do that, we're going to start up here at the, the suction, right from the tank, follow the hose all the way to where it goes into the, the pump system. We're going to make sure all the valves are open where they're supposed to be open, that they're closed where they're supposed to be closed. Coming on to the, the next one, they're open, they're closed at the bottom. Into the pump, we've got this open, this one closed, around to the back, open, closed, and lastly, you want to make sure that the discharge is back into the tank. So after we've checked all our valves, we're going to actually start to pump up. These breakers control the smart filtration unit. And after it runs through its cycles, then we turn on the next set of breakers that actually gives power to the pump and the variable frequency controller. So when we start priming the system, we want to be between 10 and 15 hertz. It's going to give us about 25 gallons per minute or so. So we'll put it in manual mode. You'll hear the system ramp up, up to 12 hertz. Then on our flow meter over here, you can see we're at about, about 30 gallons a minute, 28, 30 gallons. And we're also looking for checking all the fittings again from the beginning, making sure there's no fluid anywhere leaking, everything's in good shape. Once the system is fully primed and you've got all the air out of it, then you can use the variable speed controller to turn up the hertz. And it comes up to speed, and our flow rate goes up.
us up to our max flow rate at 150 gallons a minute.